Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's me, XR Hammer, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Silvery Sludge in Dragon Quest Builders 2, okay? And you can only get it in one place, which is Moonbrook, okay? And the enemy you're going to kill is just over here, right? There's a little cave right here on the map, right? And I'll show you what I consider the quickest way to get to it, all right? So you literally just come straight out of your uh, castle and you're just going to head east to where, you know, all the enemies normally are. <laughs> and yeah, you keep going this way, do do do. And you want to just quickly maneuver your way up on top of here, okay? And you're going to jump from here and head southeast, all right? And yeah. <laughs> Although it doesn't look like you're going to make it, you will. Trust me, I assure you, right? You do make it. And um, yeah, because it's a metallic monster, your poison needle will work on it as well, right? The um, instant kill chance. So make sure that you like didn't get rid of it. And if you did, just uh, go and craft one and bring it with you. Right, so you equip it and he will spawn somewhere kind of within the entrance okay uh sometimes you just sort of have to do a bit of a running back and forth but he does various right so he does definitely spawn in and all you want to do is defeat him he he does run around a lot right and i mean a lot and <laughs> there we go come on do it. there we go right so we got some silvery sludge now i will add that once you have defeated him you then have to leave Moonbrook entirely, right? So you have to go back to the dock, get on your ship, and you have to leave. Otherwise, he doesn't spawn back in again. <laughs> That's the only sucky bit. But he is a guaranteed spawn, so he will always be there, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.